Kipsters. I'm Kristen Davis. I am the Science Achievement Specialist from KIPP Texas Houston. And today I'm going to walk you through how to join a Google Meet session. So let's get started. The first thing you should do is make sure that you open a Google Chrome browser. Once you open up your Google Chrome browser, you should see the Google homepage. But I want you to look at the top right hand corner. In this top right hand corner, I want you to make sure that you are signed in. It's very important that you're signed in. Now, once you are signed in, I want you to go back to that top right hand corner and look at those nine squares. Click on that. And then I want you to find the meets icon. Once you find that icon, go ahead and click here. Once you click on that, the Google Meets page appears. You see the time and date. And then on the right hand side, you see this portion here that says join or start a meeting. You will click here. Once you click here, it will ask you to enter the meeting code or nickname. You will enter the code that was given to you by your teacher. I have a code already here. I'm going to place it here. Once you have your code in the in the blank box, click continue. Once you click continue, you'll see where it says the camera is starting. Hi guys, it's me. Okay, Kipsters, I've shown you one way to access Google Meetings, but I wanna also show you an additional way that you can get to your class video meets through Google Classroom. If you look at my screen, I have a Google Classroom here, and I scroll down and see the same icon that I have for Google Meets that I looked at before, and I also see class video meeting. So I click here to access my Google Meets. As you see, this screen looks pretty familiar. We just looked at a screen similar to this when we talked about how to mute your sound and turn your microphone off, as well as turning off your camera. So now let's go ahead and join our meeting. Now this screen looks a little different, but if you look down at the bottom, we still have some of the same icons that we had before we joined the meeting. We have the turn off microphone. And just to remind you on how this works, you click here. As you can see, you can't hear. You cannot hear me. Once you click on that icon and it's red, your microphone is off and you are now muted. Now, if you look over to the right a little bit, we have the turn off camera icon, which you also can click to turn off your camera. As you can see, you can no longer see me, but I'm gonna click back on it to turn my camera back on and I'm back. Now there's one other icon in the middle and that's for leave call and that's when your meeting is over. Hi Kipsters, my name is Ms. Jessica Leonard and I am the original CTE coordinator. So for this next part, I'm gonna show you if you wanna share a message. So on the right hand side, you will see a chat, chat icon. Click on the chat icon, the window will expand you will type your message where you see, send a message to everyone. Once you type your message, press enter. Remember, don't forget to practice netiquette. So, what do you do if you have a question? You will repeat the same steps you did to share a message. You will type in your question in the chat box and hit enter. Once you're able to read what your teacher is saying while you listen, you need to turn on the captions. To turn on the captions, click on the bottom right, lower right corner, and choose turn on the captions. Captions can only be turned on or off by you. Can you read what I'm saying now? You should be able to. Thank you so much for taking the time to view this video. Hope this, this video was helpful for you. Bye, hipster. Mm -hmm.